On INBC Adebayo, today on Network Africa, protests against election results turned violent in Gabon. The annular solar eclipse is seen in Nigeria and is now making its way across East Africa. Plus, eight agencies racing against time in the Central African Republic over a recent outbreak of cholera. Glad to have you join us. Supporters of the main opposition candidate in Gabon's recent presidential election, Jinping, have been out on the streets since yesterday demonstrating their anger against the results, declaring incumbent Ali Bongo winner. Yesterday, they set fire to the country's parliament building. Today, security forces stormed the opposition headquarters, saying criminals were responsible for torching the parliament building. Two people have reportedly been killed when forces opened fire. The result announced yesterday afternoon said Mr. Bongo won with 49.8% of the vote over Mr. Ping, who polled 48.2%. Mr. Ping has condemned the result, describing it as fraudulent, and that everyone knows that he won. He has also denounced the raid on the parliament building, saying the Republican Guard bombarded the area with helicopters and the attack on ground. He has called for international assistance to protect the population and wants voting figures from each polling station made public. Well, staying in Gabor and in the light of the chaos currently being experienced in the country, when on the election, incumbent president Ali Bongo has called on all parties to put campaign issues behind them and begin to heal the wounds. In his victory speech, after results were announced, he said the election had been transparent and peaceful. On his Twitter account this afternoon, he said he would soon be making a speech concerning the situation in the country. President Ali Bongo narrowly won the Gabon elections on Wednesday after a bitter campaign that put him and his party against contender Jean Ping, who accused Bongo of stealing the vote and rigging the elections. In his victory speech, Ali Bongo said the elections had been transparent and peaceful. Half an hour after the announcement of the result, Ping supporters clashed with police, looted shops and set fire to the parliament. Jean Ping said on Thursday two people were killed and many wounded when the presidential guard and police attacked his party headquarters overnight around 1 a.m. Ali Bongo called on all parties to put the campaign behind them and begin to heal the wounds. At the issue of this election, a majority of you voted for me in this election, but at this hour, all the people of Gabon voted in peace and transparency, which I congratulate. Today, the election is over. The time has come for us to get together, build together. The time has come to heal our wounds. The time has come to leave behind all the insults of the campaign. The time for appeasement has come. The time for reconciliation has come. You can count on me to be the president of all the Gabonese. The election is terminated. The results gives the president a father seven year in power and the country of 1.8 million people. Bongo took power in 2009 on the death of his father, who had ruled for 42 years. France on Thursday called on Gabon government to release details of local vote tallies, while the European Union said the official announcement of election results in Gabon had plunged the African country into a deep crisis and the verification of each polling station, results were required. Meanwhile, the main challenger in the election, Jinping, says he fears for his safety and thinks he could be arrested any moment from now. Earlier, he spoke to a French radio station telling them he had gone into hiding following the violent storming of his party's headquarters overnight. He has called on the international community, especially France, to intervene due to its historical links with Gabon, saying otherwise it will look like a failure to help a people in danger. It seems as a fallout of the protest, the internet has been cut off in Gabon, preventing access to social media. 
The European Union Election Observer Mission for the Election says the situation is hampering its communications as well. However, Internet access have reportedly been disrupted since Tuesday evening when final results for the election were announced. Legal practitioner Chukwemeka Eze joins us now for more analysis on the situation in Gabon. Mr. Eze, welcome to the show. It's one thing for the opposition to dispute the election result, but did you ever imagine a near breakdown of law and order in Gabon? Yes, I was too sure there would be a breakdown of law and order in Gabon. Because uh, the people had actually rejected the Bongo dynasty. And I knew that there was no way Ali Bongo would leave power. And uh, then by what happened in 2009, when Ali Bongo won with 41% margin, I mean, she won the election with 41% of the actual vote. There was heavy riots and the uh, killing of protesters. Now I expected, now that the opposition has performed better, that uh, Ali Bongo would reject the result or manipulate the result at the risk of the peace of the people of Gabon. So I was too sure there would be riots. Well, opposition supporters reportedly set fire to the parliament building and the police has described them as criminal minds and has begun a crackdown on them. How much further do you think this situation could degenerate? I think uh, they have set the country on edge. We are having another Burundi in our hands in the time in Central Africa. So Ali Bongo will not leave power, and uh, the people are hell-bent on uh, changing the status quo. I foresee a serious mayhem taking place in Gabon, except the United Nations intervene. Now that the headquarters of the opposition party has been attacked and the parliament building has been burnt, uh, you recall that uh, even in the last week, uh, the people of Libreville, the capital, have been stockpiling uh, food. That shows you they were ready, they knew there would be trouble. Interviews showed that they were stockpiling food and they were waiting for a day like this. So I see a situation whereby this mayhem will continue until we have something resembling a, a, a government of national unity. The Ali Bongo to exclude Jinping and his supporters in the next uh, political dispensation that is spare room for Gabon. And uh, what is happening is a scintilla of what was expected. Considering that Gabon is an very rich country, and it is one family that has been sitting in power for the past 49 years. So the people want to take new life, and they are ready to take all the risks. So it is high time that the United Nations, the African Union, should come together and intervene in this matter. Otherwise, Gabon will go up. It's not in flames, but close to going up in flames. Thank you very much, Mr. Eze, for talking to us on the program. When we come back on Network Africa, the solar eclipse has made its way across some parts of Africa, and we saw it here in Nigeria. Do join us again.